In this mini-clip, we'll be discussing linear models. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving a similar problem on your own using the same technique. Now we're asked to find the equation used to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit if water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius, which is the same as saying 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and boils at 100 degrees Celsius, which is also 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now looking at this question, you'll notice that we have two variables. We have the temperature measured in Celsius, as well as the temperature measured in Fahrenheit. So before we begin, let's define these two variables. We will let T subscript C be the temperature in Celsius, and we will let T subscript F be the temperature in Fahrenheit. Now because we're dealing with linear models, we need to define one of these variables as the independent variable and the other as the dependent variable. So let's label our T subscript C to be our independent variable. And our T subscript F will be our dependent variable. Now when our independent variable is equal to zero, we know that our dependent variable is equal to 32. So this actually creates a point. So we will have point. Now usually we have our x variable here, which is our independent variable. In our case, it will be 0. And this is usually our y variable, or our dependent variable. In our case, it's our temperature in Fahrenheit, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is one point. We also have another point. When we have 100 degrees Celsius, we know this is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So our independent variable is 100, and our dependent variable is 212. I would now like you to find the two points in the question you are given. Here is the answer you should have got. Now coming back to our question. From these two points, we can now develop the equation of the line that's used to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. But before we begin to derive this equation, we need to write out the general formula for a line. So the general equation for a line is the dependent variable, which is T subscript F, equal to m times the independent variable, which in our case is T subscript C, plus B, where our m is our slope, and our B is our intercept of the dependent variable. So in this case, it is the T subscript F intercept. So to find our equation of this line, we need to find the values for m and B. Because we have these two points here, we can now easily solve for this equation. We know the slope is equal to rise over run. So I'm just going to write here, m is equal to rise all over the run. So in our case, the rise depends on our dependent variables. So we will have 212 minus this 32 will give us our rise. Now our run depends on our independent variable. So we will have 100 minus 0 here. 
Now solving the numerator, 212 minus 32 gives you 180. And 100 minus 0 is 100. Now we can reduce this fraction. We'll notice that 20 goes into both 180 and 100 evenly. So this will result in the fraction 9 over 5. So this here is our slope. I would now like you to find the slope in the question you were given. You should find that your slope is also 9 over 5. Now I'm just going to move this question up here now since I'm running out of room. So now that we know our slope is 9 over 5, we can substitute this value into our equation. So we will have t subscript f is equal to 9 over 5 times the temperature in Celsius plus b. So the last thing we need to do now is to find this intercept, the T subscript F intercept. In order to do this, we need to substitute one of our points into this equation. So I'm going to choose this first point since it will be easier because there's a zero here. But you can use this point as well if you wish. So I'm going to sub or substitute in the point zero and thirty-two. Now remember our zero is our independent variable or our T subscript C. So zero is going to go in this spot here and our 32 is our dependent variable or our, our t subscript f variable. So we will have 32 is equal to 9 over 5. Now instead of t subscript c, I'm going to put in the value 0, put in brackets to indicate that we're multiplying here, plus b. Now 9 over 5 times 0 will just give you 0, plus b will just equal b. So we actually have that our intercept is equal to 32. I would now like you to find the intercept in the question you were given. Your t subscript f intercept should also be 32. So now all we want to do is we want to substitute our intercept into our equation here to get our final answer. So we're going to have therefore our equation of our line will be T subscript F is equal to 9 over 5 T subscript C plus 32. And this is our equation used to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. I would now like you to write the equation for the question you are given. You should find that you have found the exact same answer as we did in the question we worked together on.